third guy coming up here, Juan Pablo Montoya. Welcome, Juan. Juan is uh, his first season. His first season with Team Penske. Um, seventh in points right now. Every week, Juan is increasing the knowledge of what he's learning on these, uh, in the back of these new cars. Seven years, by the way, he's been away from open wheel racing. Seven years he was in NASCAR. So those big, heavy 3,500 pound what, school buses? School buses? Thanks, okay. Um, he's now driving these uh, sleek rocket ships that are about 1,500 pounds. So, uh, anyway, welcome, guys, and uh, I'll give him the microphone over here to, to, to Juan. Um, but let me start with, uh, with Juan, okay? Um, Juan, as I mentioned, seven years away from open wheel racing. Actually, Juan, believe it, had, had raced here in Houston before, 1999 and, and 2000. Yeah. He won the poll in 1999, if I recall, in second place in 2000. Yeah. So he's familiar with the city. Different racetrack, different I points. I actually, in 99, I was leading and Elliot crashed, and they never thought, like I saw a standing yellow, and I thought it was a caution, and I actually ran into Elliot. <laughs> oh, right. I'm sorry, I was in the wall, and I didn't have a place to go, and he's going to come and hit me on the back. I was like, you know, <laughs> <laughs> Something that used to happen, the pits were open. So if you had a car crashed and the yellow came out, you had to keep running hard until the pits to make a decision. And he just crashed in the corner after the pits. So I went hard into the last corner, and all the track is yellow because the yellow's out. And I turned, and they never told me. I'm like, oh, boom. <laughs> so I bounced into a. He, he didn't like me then. <laughs> I don't like you no <laughs> more. <laughs> now he has to live with me, actually. <laughs> You know, Juan, talk about the uh, transition. I mean, seven years away, and of course, Juan raced in Formula One and won a lot of great races there. Won the Indy 500, by the way, also uh, when he was racing in the uh, Open Wheel Series here in the U.S. And it's now his first year with Team Penske after seven years away from um, this sport uh, with the NASCAR Series. Talk about the transition. Talk about the learning. Talk about the difficulty and the the curve that you've been on for the last few months. It's been it's been pretty hard. It's been a lot of fun. It's, it's been exciting to be here. Uh, I mean. It's actually, when you think about racing and you have the chance to run for Team Penske, it doesn't really come any better than that. The history, what they achieve, what Roger represents, I think it's unbelievable. And, and have partners like you guys to support the team, it's incredible. So it, it's, been a, it's been a weird transition. I, I, I was, normally my strength always was the street quarters. And I think that's been the hardest thing so far. Um, and I think one of the reasons it's been the hardest is because to get the car right, it takes takes a lot. I think we, it's, it's, it's a tough process. I'll give you an example. Like today, we started and we had a little bit of braking issues. It was like, when I was getting on the, on the brakes, the car was going to the right. I was like, ooh. So you're trying to learn the track, you're trying to keep it up the wall. And when you're trying to keep it up the wall, you're not going fast. I mean, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you're not going and you go, and every exit, yeah. like you, you gotta kind of move your shoulder to make sure you fit in. <laughs> then when you get to the point, you're going, okay, now I'm starting to get it. <laughs> yeah, because when it's comfortable, anybody can do it. And, and these guys have done it enough, and they've been here, like they raced here last year, so they know the track a lot better, they know what curve to use, where to go. So you're always a little bit behind. You know, they're really good teammates, so you can ask them a lot of questions between practice. So. We have a really good relationship, and that makes a lot of difference. Like for me personally, it helps a lot. Because I finish, I'll give you an example. They said last year that you had to use a lot of curves initially because there was a lot of grip on the curves, and we walked around, there was a lot of grip on the curves. So I was doing that, thinking, okay, that's what I need to do. And and the first practice was really struggled, so I went back and I asked, Will, are you using the curves I'm only in the first corner? I'm like, oh, there you go. So, uh, like, Initially, like for the second practice, I know exactly I need to stay off the curves, I need to do this, and we changed the car, made it a lot better. So, you know, it's normal when you go to a new track that you haven't been to be a little bit behind as the weekend, and as the weekend goes on, you get better. The other hard thing is being a double header, like normally you would have another practice tomorrow, you had time to adjust again, and then you had qualifying in the afternoon. Now we got, you know, straight to qualifying. So we, you know, run 15 time lapse today and straight to qualifying. So it makes it a little bit hard, but you know, that's what it is. Thank you, Juan. Las impresiones de Juan Pablo Montoya en su regreso a la Indy Series con Tim Penske y en el Gran Premio de Houston en el doblete, la doble jornada de fin de semana, Juan Pablo Montoya tuvo su mejor resultado de la temporada, un segundo lugar detrás de Carlos Huertas, otro colombiano, y también de Carlos Muñoz, así que una, un triplete de colombianos allí en el Gran Premio de Houston eh, patrocinado por Shell 
y Pensoil Oils. Así que ya regresamos, esto es Auto 060, yo soy Javier Mota. 